Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm in Hammersmith, one of my favourite Wetherspoons pubs, uh, the Plough and Harrow. Uh, wonderful uh, January winter's day, sunshine's out, and uh, I'm about to recite my latest poem. Uh, once again, I did in the early hours of this morning, actually, you know, this, the uh, lovely day, but uh, it's about the world drowning in the rain. So it's called Watching the World Drowned. Here we go. That summer was one to remember. Sticks out in my mind from other summers in my life. Because I'd watched my whole world drowning. And neither I nor anyone could prevent it. The elements had a mind of their own. I was but a small child on my way to being eight. It was the long-awaited summer semester, and just like any other seven-year-old, my nights were filled with dreams of daytime play. Sadly, that summer was different. That's what makes it stand out so. My child's eyes witness to its drowning, as the dark skies brought with them torrents of torrential rain. It was like someone had upset God, made him weep for the world. He had decided to put us out of our misery, holding our heads down under his tears to drown. All that from my bedroom window, my view impaired, obscured, wishing for the sunshine that never came. The world a blurred image on the wrong side of my window pane. I had pestered my mother for comfort and consolation. There were far greater issues pressing her mind. So she was downstairs and I was upstairs, alone in my room again, watching God drown the world. Reluctantly, I said goodbye to my dreams that summer, along with my mother and any hopes. I'd been waving ever since, not mouthing romantic au revoirs, just saying goodbyes, still drowning in my tears, the tears of a lonely child. <laughs>